Hello again, and finally I'm going away on my fire exercises in Stockholm. So um, I had to go up early and travel. I'm not going to talk very much in this video, so um, this is uh, just a short intro and uh, we're going to see fire exercises and me traveling here. So enjoy this traveling montage with some music and I'll talk to you later in the video. Finally, finally, I arrived at my hotel room and when I got here I was quite exhausted and I decided just to take a quick look around in the room and see what was going on. It was quite cozy and welcoming as you could say and after going out, uh, just going around looking somewhat, I just headed to the shower and after that I went to sleep in my bed because uh, I was still quite exhausted after the trip. I fell asleep around 1800, if I remember correctly. And when I woke up the next morning, I turned on the TV and saw that the US election was still being monitored closely. And the race between the candidates to get the 700 electoral votes was still in the favor of Biden. Still, Trump had some states that was on um, his side. 
uh, I went down and got some breakfast and uh, after that I headed over to the fire field where we had the exercises. It was around a 20 minute walk for me to get there and I also passed a an old military base which was quite fun and it had now been turned into a an uh, airsoft field for uh, players to play on. Yeah, so that was quite fun uh, to see. Finally, when I got to the fire field, I um, got to pick out some um, clothes that I would be wearing, as well as uh, putting together my um, breathing, uh, my mask and the, the breathing tubes. Later out on the field, as you can see here, I got to try out uh, different types of uh, water usages and uh, how the spread would affect the fire as well which was quite fun here you can see two different usages of the water one is for um, aiming into the window and one is uh, for when you're inside combating the fire closely during this trip i also brought my gopro with me but uh, sadly i didn't bring it with a with me on the first day since i thought it would be too hot inside to use it, uh, which was quite a mistake, but I used it on the second day, which you'll be seeing here any second now. Here we have it, and I um, I think that if I had used it on the first day, it would have been quite hot, but still the footage I would have gotten would have been really nice and really epic to see. Anyways, you're going to see me combat some uh, different fires and uh, some other of my um, fellow, uh, <laughs> fellow um, students as well here. Uh, I was the only one from Kalmar and there were some other from different schools as well. And uh, by the way that noise you can hear is me breathing out because um, the valve opens and lets the air come out. And the fire type that we were trying to combat were uh, the over ignition fires which are the flames that travel um, up in the ceiling which you can see here in the wild. That was quite intense and later on we also had to go in when the house was smoke filled and find a uh, doll that was lying around and bring it outside and here you can see two of my friends going in and getting it and uh, bring it out. Later on we also got to go in again and extinguish more fires which you can see here. You can really see the effect that the water has on the um, flames that's coming up on the roof. It cools, uh, cools down the temperature as well as uh, fighting back the flames so it goes back to its um, position. And we were also use, uh, trained to not use too much water, since uh, if we use a lot of water on ships, the, <laughs> the ship might begin to tilt as uh, it accumulates in uh, either side of the ship.
And that was it for the first day of firefighting. And um, I went back to the hotel and just went to sleep because it was quite tiring. Anyways, this is the first part of um, a two-part series of uh, Firefield. So you can see the next video next week. See ya.